Invited to vote for your favorite Sandbar Ferry Gateway sculpture. Last night, finalists presented their sculptures to the public, which will serve as a beacon of creativity and community pride and also help beautify the place we all call home. We're joined with Greater Augusta Arts Council's public art manager, Denise Tucker, who has all of the details that we want to tell you about. Hi, Denise. Hi, how are you? Good. Doing well. Thanks for coming on Morning Thank Maze. you for having me. Thank Before you. we get into the sculpture and last night's presentations, tell us about the Greater Augusta Arts Council and why it's important important to have a group like this in our area. Okay, well the Greater Augusta Arts Council is an arts advocacy agency. Um, we support artists and we are, are also the public art agency of Augusta. So it's very important because someone has to be the, you know, the go-between sometimes between the artists and the community and we advocate to do that. And I'm all about arts. I love that. Oh, yes. And last night, a finalist presented their sculptures to the public. So how did the presentations go? The presentations were awesome. So we have four finalists, and every last one of them presented their sculptures, or their maquettes, as we call them, which is like a model of right. um, the actual sculpture that will be placed. Mm -hmm. And every last one of them were amazing. So whomever is chosen, it will be an iconic sculpture, sculpture in Sandbar Ferry area. I love Ooh, that. I'm excited yeah, to see you know, what too. that sculpture will be. Um, why do you think it was necessary to reach out to artists around the area, even regionally, mm -hmm. um, to participate in something like this and have their say in what that sculpture will be and look like? I mean, talent, um, innovation, um, creativity, you know, art is very subjective. So a lot of times, you know, when you pull in different people from different areas, they're always going to have a different perspective. So I think it was important that we got a diverse group of individuals to present their ideas because there was research involved. Um, and, you know, there are ways to connect to the community, to find out what the community wants. I just think it was very important to get a diverse group of people to, to do that. Yeah, for sure. And now the community can vote for their favorite, favorite from today through April Third, right? Correct. Correct. And how this vote process will Okay, work. so the voting process is the maquettes are on display at the municipal building in downtown Augusta now. They are in front of the, the um, elevator. So they're on a table, you go over there, there's a ballot box, and the public can go and select their favorite, drop it in the ballot box. When that voting period is over, we'll take that, we'll review it, we'll look at the public's comments. I mean, then that goes back to the public advisory panel, and I mean, the public art advisory panel, excuse me, and then, of course, um, back to the commission for approval. And I feel like we have to say this, though, but everyone should go and vote for one and put one in the ballot box. Right? Yes, I think that would help. I mean, they are so awesome, though. Mm -hmm. And when you, I mean, there's local artists involved. There are artists from Atlanta, from Statesboro, from Gainesville, um, four amazing teams of artists. So it may be difficult to choose your favorite, but you have to choose one. Yeah, so okay. you see someone like... <laughs> I mean, they are amazing. When you I, see I imagine, them, we have talent just yes, throughout the area. We have no talent. Art. We have talent. We do. We and sure speaking do. of that talent, yeah. how have you seen the arts in our area just grow over the last several years? I've been here 35 years, uh, 36 actually. And I mean, it's amazing. When I first came to Augusta, of course, the arts were alive, but they weren't thriving like they are now. And I will say that um, the person that came before me in this position um, as a public art manager of uh, the Greater Augusta Arts Council, she was really a trailblazer. And she did an awesome job at you know, advocating for public art and getting things installed. And even in her eight-year tenure, I mean, we've seen sculptures go up. We have the sculpture trail. There are murals. We have a Fifth Street mural festival is what they're calling it that's coming up April the 20th I mean it's it's grown so much um, even through you know our work at the Greater Augusta Arts Council but also just the work of the entire community and the artists located here yeah amazing and, and then it's for, for people wanting to get involved in the Great Augusta Arts Council like what is the process you just visit our website which is augustaarts.com and there is a join the arts council <laughs> um, button on the page you click it and you can join and become a member of the arts council um, you can become a member of the literary society which is also connected for those literary artists um, and if you want to volunteer we even have a volunteer link and that's a great way to become involved as well Okay, there you go. make sure you do that and also make sure you head down to the municipal building and right in front of the elevator and make that vote for that gateway sculpture. Okay, Definitely you have until April 3rd to do so. Yes. Okay, so a couple weeks. Denise, thank you so much. Thank we appreciate you. It. Thank you so much for having me.